So I'm running the Deus 2 here in this really hot flint rock here. It's almost like glass, right? All right. Almost like glass. Yeah, all right. And I've been having, I've been struggling on hitting, pinpointing, and even getting some good tones in full tones in uh, sensitive full tones program. And I've been discriminating up to like th minus three to get rid of those hot rocks. And um, I have it in ground balance. I don't want to ground balance because if I drop my ground balance down here, it just falses on the all these hot rocks here. And it's not pinpointing the lead weights very well, right? I've tried mono frequency, high frequency. Now I'm in the mid frequency and I'm gonna try the lower frequencies and I just hit a nickel down there and it did not sound like a nickel, all right? It, it was just not sounding like a nickel. It just, it's not pinpointing very well. It's not hitting on it. I just, I wanna learn how to dial this machine in to this spot here because I want to get some lead out of the ground but I just hit on a nickel there about an inch and a half deep and it was just not hitting it very well I'm at 25 kilohertz I have not ground balanced yet I just don't know man it's giving me a lot of high tones right Something big, obviously a big piece of foil there. All right, a big piece of aluminum. Overload, big time overload here. Big piece of foil. A large piece of foil right there. Foil seal. They're everywhere here. But it's just not pinpointing very well. Another foil seal right there. I'm not gonna pick it up. There's something right here. There might be some lead. See, it's not pinpointing it very well. Even the coins sound really effy. Big time effy, man. This one sounds really chunky. Uh, these rocks are brutal here, man. These rocks are brutal. It's a foil seal on this edge. There's foil seals just everywhere out here, man. They're just everywhere. Oh, that's that muddy, gummy duck poop down there a little bit, a little way. It's kind of nasty. See, all, all, all the targets sound like hot rocks, right? I don't know what I'm gonna do here. The pitch tones was working good, but I was digging up all those foil seals, right? Screamer, right here. Screamer. This actually is a screamer. It doesn't sound like a screamer, but it's a screamer out here. Right. Come on, baby. It's a cap. It's something other. I thought it were a ring right there. <laughs> These hot rocks mask, mask my tones here, right? Bottle cap right on the surface, I'll rest it out. See that? Right on the surface, very hit. Right. Another foil seal, they're everywhere.
go to 7.5 recovery speed here or 7.5 kilohertz reactivity 3 auto response 3 discrimination i'll go up minus discrimination here i'm not actually at minus three now so i can at least get some tones on it all right it's not happening Stay away from those geese because they're mean. Okay. This is a really spot, very difficult spot to detect right here. Very good tone right here. This one sounds like a coin. It could be a hot rock too. Okay. See, it's a coin on this edge right there. See these hot rocks? All of them are hot, all right? Very, very difficult spot to hunt. So I will have to do some research on the dais, because I've never been to a spot like this that has hot rocks. You know, I'm learning new stuff all the time about the dais, and I want to learn how to get through these hot rocks here. I can um, notch my ground out here. I can actually do a ground notch because in um, in mono frequency, they don't have that notching, right? I'll go to my discrimination here. My notch is is gone out of there. But these are silent rocks, right? So what I can do is I can go to um, I don't really know what I'm going to do here. I'll try to figure it out later on. You ready to go? I'm ready to go.